we'll show you a young man paralyzed from the chest down pedal this stationary bike. 26-year-old Jonathan Dieleman, the eldest of six boys, grew up on a cattle farm in Smithers. Last summer, Jonathan was dirt biking on the family farm, popped a wheelie in fifth gear, hit a rock, and the course of his life changed forever. A T5 paraplegic, Jonathan couldn't move from the chest down. My reaction to it was, stuff happens, uh, there's no point in getting depressed about it or pissed off. Jonathan pushed hard through rehab and wanted to do more with his body. Jonathan discovered stem cell therapies for spinal cord injured were offered in several places around the world. In April of this year, he chose China, where his own stem cells were mixed with umbilical cord cells and injected into his body six times over the course of four weeks. It cost $30,000 and immediately... I gained a lot more trunk control, a lot more stability uh, while I was uh, in a standing frame and on my knees. Doctors in China told Jonathan to expect more gains over the next year, as injected stem cells began replacing his non-functioning spinal column cells. When patients return from having the stem cell procedure, they're encouraged to stay physically fit. No problem for Jonathan, who clearly has a fighting spirit. Jonathan's muscles have atrophied since the accident, and it will take time to rewire communication between his brain and the growing cells. Just last week, Jonathan had an incredible breakthrough. While well, sitting on the stationary bike, the other day was the first time for me and I could get it moving from a standstill and I still don't understand how I did it. Jonathan rocks the pedals back and forth. In 30 seconds he's dripping in sweat and then pushes the pedals around by himself. An incredible feat and Jonathan has no plans to coast on his success. He believes stem cells will get him walking and ultimately back working the family farm. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News.